starter and closer idea work in the a7fl and if this is a good test case like this is a case that's study a, i feel i feel no, like i should question. just not even answer this because i'm obviously gonna be uh, extremely biased in yeah. this so I'll, I'll, Rob, a, I'll let you I'll talk and i'll honest, just make grunting noises in the background it's funny is, uh, <laughs> i'll give an honest take on that it, it, it's not the first time we've seen it, it, it in i do think to a degree it can work well most most successful A7 FL teams in history always have two quarterbacks. You may not notice it. They may not both play, but think about the U. The U had Huff and Moon. Think about BIC. They had Sterry, CP3. Um, the Gators, you know, unfortunately they had no one, but then you had Rare Breed with, you know, OG Buck and then Lenny Manziel. It's, all, it's like that that whole old model of having just one quarterback, it can't oh. work anymore. I mean, I, oh. and I, I know it has. I, I mean, I've won a champ. You know, here's the funny part. 2016 BIC A7 FL Championship, right? You guys had two quarterbacks start. on that roster, right? Yeah, exactly. We had two quarterbacks on that roster. But how the many CP3. how many players how many players mattered when it mattered at the quarterback? Here's the position? thing. This is the thing. Fitz G brought us through the first half of the season, got injured, CP3 closed it out. So what Matt uh, Taylor, Was he injured it, or did you guys lose to the Chiefs? No, he was hurt. He was hurt. And that, and that is fair, and I'm not going to take that away. But yeah. I, think, I think that what you look at is the successful teams in this league, Matt, they have roles for all of their important players, yeah. right? And if you look at what Sterry Codrington did in the two years he's been in this league, he started off as the guy that was new in the league, was going to potentially be an option for other positions behind CP3. And when he got his opportunity, he put up 500 total yards and six touchdowns. And then all of a sudden, everybody was like, well, maybe this is our best option. And well, despite well, CP3 despite was CP3, telling them from the get go that he wasn't their best option. Because CP3 was was injured, like CP3 is not at 100. Exactly. So right, he but says, at the same time, once they figured out who their best option was, in in plays that made a difference in the game, downs and distances, you know, situations, you know, third quarter at the end of the quarter, fourth quarter when it mattered most, they knew who the guy was that was going to go in at quarterback. It wasn't a question. It wasn't, it wasn't a, a coin toss. It wasn't who had the hot hand. Because my feeling, Matt, at the end of the day, and obviously I'm biased, is when you oh, have nice. a quarterback that is the best option for you on first down, on the first play of the game, unless you have packages that, that you know, like, like the U does with Moon, in which they're going to use his, um, you know, his elite level, uh, decision making skills in in you know the the one on one situations where it's you know option and and running plays for the quarterback or you know the the quick throw plays that they they still utilize for him in the two point or for instance like what the snow tribe did where they had a running back basically come in at the quarterback they didn't, and, no 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 don't don't do that they didn't have no a no quarterback. no but Let's but when they when teams. they assigned a role for that person that was different than their normal starter even though snow tribe didn't have a normal starter. That's one of those instances in which it can work. But when you got a guy that is your quarterback, for instance, when you have Sterry Codrington, even if you're struggling, when you're in the fourth quarter, you don't decide that, you know what, we're going to give this guy a run. So for me, my thing with the rare breed is, is Buck calling in Lenny Manziel was, in my opinion, something that I would never have done in my entire career. Download new episodes of the three-on-one podcast presented by the A7FL every Wednesday, wherever you get audio.